Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm with Robbins Plumbing and my tip for you guys today is how to protect your plumbing while you go on vacation. So vacation is supposed to be a time where we're stress-free, but we can't be that way if we're worried about our homes. And I can't tell you how many times we get called a year from neighbors that homes are flooding. Water is running out the garage, it's running out the front door, it's going down the street. And my hope for you today is that that isn't going to be your home after you listen to these tips. So I have some good, better, and best scenarios for you today. So our good scenario shouldn't cost you anything but time as long as everything works in your home. So I want you to perform these things at least a week before your plan to go on vacation in case your plumbing doesn't work. So, and that's simply shutting off all of the fixtures in your home. So this includes your bathroom faucets, your kitchen faucets, your washing machine, your ice maker, and your water heater. So we wanna make sure those valves work because if they don't work, you wanna have plenty of time for us to come out and fix them. So the pros and cons of this scenario, while you're able to shut off that fixture, which can stop floods from burst supply lines and the fixture itself leaking, it's not gonna shut off the water to your home. So if you have a leak underground in the wall or in the ceiling, it's not shutting off those water sources. But a lot of floods are caused from burst supply lines or even toilets that are running while you're gone. So we wanna show you how to shut those things off if that's your good scenario. And you're only gonna be gone a couple of days, it's usually fine. So there is a valve underneath all of your sinks. So that's your bathroom and your kitchen sink. There's one for the hot side and one for the cold side. Those are called angle stops. And you wanna turn them to the right. You wanna test it and make sure no water's coming out of that faucet. So this eliminates the possibility of a burst supply line. And a supply line is what's the line between that angle stop, that shutoff valve, that feeds the fixture. And there are two really major leading causes of floods in Arizona, and they're burst supply lines and they're burst washing machine hoses. So we'll get to that one. So we wanna eliminate that possibility, as well as if the faucet's leaking while you're gone, you don't want that leaking either. If that faucet starts leaking on full bore, you have a hair stoppage, you have anything in that bathroom faucet that's, or bathroom sink that's slowing down that drain, nowhere for the water to go, but up and over and out your front door. So the other thing is toilets. So we wanna make sure that those are shut off before you leave, again, to eliminate the possibility of that supply line bursting while you're gone, but also of the toilet running. That ghost phantom flushing that you're hearing is not actually a ghost a leaking flapper or a fill valve or cracked porcelain line, we want to make sure that that can't be a problem while you're gone. Because if you have a stoppage within your toilet and there's nowhere for that water to go, again, it's up, over, out your front door, your neighbor's calling. So the other thing to shut off that maybe you didn't think of is your washing machine. So fun fact, manufacturers recommend that you shut off the valves to your washing machine every time you use it. Who does that? No one, no one. But washing machine hoses are one of the leading causes of floods in Phoenix. Those rubber hoses, over time, they're on constant pressure, hot and cold, bam, you have a flood. So you should have shut off valves, both hot and cold for your washing machine. Hopefully they're easily accessible for you. You may have to move your washing machine out of the way to access them, but those are something you really wanna focus on making sure is off before you leave. Another thing is your ice maker line or water line to your fridge. Most of us have water sources at our fridges now, and we wanna make sure that's off. We wanna make sure that that appliance can't leak while we're gone, and we wanna make sure that water line can't burst while we're gone. So that's shutting off that valve to your ice maker, to that water line. So you either have a valve underneath your kitchen sink for that, or you have one behind your refrigerator that's in the wall, typically low, that looks like a valve underneath there. And you wanna make sure that's off before you're gone. The last one that you're gonna individually shut off 
is your water heater. I cannot tell you how many times I've received the call, oh my gosh, there's water pouring out of my neighbor's garage. It's all the time. And it's from the water heater. Tank style water heaters over time, it's inevitable. They are going to crack and they are going to leak. There is only one on the market that claims not to, and that's a plastic water heater called a Marathon. But other than that, bam, those water heaters are going to leak. So we wanna make sure the water is off to your water heater. So at that point, at least you're only dealing with the capacity that your tank holds, whether that's 40 gallons, very commonly 50 gallons, 65 gallons, 80 gallons, mine's an 80 gallon. Uh, and then you're only dealing with that gallon capacity and the damage that that can cause rather than when the tank ruptures and let's say you don't have a water heater pan, there's nothing to capture that water. So we wanna make sure that that water is shut off so you don't have hundreds of gallons of water to deal with. Let's say even more because a neighbor didn't call and it just sat hot water. Ooh, that's a hot mess. So we wanna make sure that those things are taken care of. So the con to this, like I said, is it's not gonna shut off the water that's inside your walls, inside your ceiling and under your floor. So our better option is to shut off the water to your house. And if you're in a single family dwelling, it's different if you're in a condo or an apartment, but if you're in a single family dwelling, typically that valve to shut off the water to your home is at the front of your house and it's right underneath where you connect your garden hose. And it's either gonna have a circular handle or a lever handle. And again, you wanna make sure this works with plenty of time before you're going on vacation. In case that valve doesn't work, you have plenty of time without stress to have us come out and replace that. But that's gonna shut off the water to everything in your home. So it's gonna save you a bunch of time because you're not going under every fixture coming back from vacation, turning all of those on. The downfall to this, the con of this, is if you have irrigation or a pool and you're gonna be gone for more than a couple of days, especially in our hot Phoenix summer, you don't want your irrigation to dry up and you don't want your pool to dry up. So when you shut off the water to your home, those things are also shut off. So a solution to this that we can certainly accomplish for you is what's called a vacation valve. So that's us isolating your home from your irrigation so you can shut off your home, but not your irrigation. That's, that's something we can certainly give you a consultation for, let you know what's involved. It doesn't always mean that we can isolate the pool easily. So that's really gonna depend on how everything is plumbed in your home. Our best solution, and this one actually really excites me. Not that I'm someone who ever gets to go on vacation, but if I did, I would have this hands down, no question. So it's our smart shutoff valve. This thing is very cool. So it's gonna install on your home and it's going to sense if there's a possible leak and it's going to alert you on your phone and you can tell your phone, yes, this is a leak, shut my water off right from your phone. No questions asked. Of course, then you wanna get us called out and make sure that there's not a problem, that we get your irrigation on, we get your pool on, but if it senses anything, Let's say that the irrigation turns on, you know it's the irrigation and you're like, no, let's just let it run. But you have control of your plumbing from anywhere in the world from a smart app because this device is that cool. So that's our best solution. And if you're someone who likes to go out of town, you're a snowbird, you like to travel the world and you don't want to stress about uh, flooding with your plumbing, this is definitely a perfect solution. It's even so perfect that insurance companies are starting to take notice of it and you can send your insurance company that you've had this installed by a licensed contractor and a lot of times it will reduce your insurance rate. It's that cool. So I hope you found these tips helpful today. I hope you enjoy your vacation and if you need help from us, of course, give us a call at 623-486-4657 or on our website at robinsplumbing.com.